You are listening to a recording from the 2021 Pumanar Scholars Virtual Residency Fair. We would like to take a moment to thank the residency programs who have taken the time to present at our fair this year. This year's Pumanar Scholars Virtual Residency Fair is supported by Pumanar Recap, the best resource for your physiatry clinical preparation, audition rotations, board preparation, and beyond. Pumanar Recap offers 35 hours of review videos, hundreds of review questions, and even oral board cases. Head to pmnrrecap.com to learn more. All right. Who's going first? Yes. Uh, so th- that will be me. Hi, uh, everyone. My name is uh, Key. I'm a PGY3 here at um, uh, Michigan State Sparrow uh, PMNR Residency Program. So just a little bit about our program. So we are called Sparrow Hospital on uh, ERAS. Uh, we are uh, a fleet, we are based out of Sparrow Hospital in Lansing, Michigan. Um, our academic affiliation is with MSU College of Osteopathic Medicine. We are also sponsored by McLaren Hospital as well. Um, so uh, these are the three uh, main sponsors for our program, but our name is uh, Sparrow Hospital. Um, you can go on the next slide, Dr. Andy. So this is Sparrow Hospital. We are a one trauma center uh, for Mid Michigan. Um, we um, and you can go on to the next slide. And this is uh, McLaren Great Lansing Hospital. Uh, this is actually it's being built right now, and it's gonna come online uh, in 2022. Our main hospital is based out of Sparrow. So most of our rotation is actually a Sparrow Hospital. We only do consults and EMG uh, over at McLaren Greater Lansing. Uh, so a little bit about our internship year. So we are a categorical program. Uh, so it's, uh, if you match with us, it will be four years. You don't have to do uh, your rotation, your internship year uh, elsewhere. It will be our Sparrow Hospital. Um, so as you can see here, we have a variety of um, rotations uh, for PGY1. And I'm pretty proud of the fact that we are able to offer a variety of very relevant uh, specialties. I think um, this is important because you will see a lot of patients from these services and it's nice to be able to um, kind of know the residents and attending from this service and kind of get a sense of how they think and why they will consult you and then you will end up also getting patients from these services. So I would like to also point out that uh, what set our, our program unique is we have one month of osteopathic manipulative medicine uh, for all, all the DOs out there. Um, and we also have one month of inpatient rehab built in into our internship. So we'll, you will actually be on the floor, um, carry your patients uh, on the inpatient rehab unit. So this is kind of a nice segue into PGY2. You will be familiar with uh, how the floor is run. Um, so going on to PGY2, uh, you do four months of inpatient rehab as barrel. We also have uh, a couple of other outpatient rotations. Um, we do have uh, a couple of rotations out in Flint. Flint is about an hour away from Lansing, but you will get a stipend for the driving. And they will, will also do some consults and outpatient sport um, and EMG uh, at McLaren as well. Um, the SPP rotation, some PGY2 may have it, is more for PGY3. Um, we cover LTAC, which is a long uh, term acute care hospital in South Sparrow. And uh, we also do EMG on that service as well. Uh, for PGY3, as you can see on um, the slide here, we do five months of uh, inpatient at Sparrow. Uh, we also do three months out at the main Mary Free bed in Grand Rapids. And this is where we do our two months of spinal cord injury. 
and one month of pediatrics. Uh, Mary Free Bed in Grand Rapids is a standalone uh, rehab hospital. Um, and you will also get a stipend for uh, the, the driving to Grand Rapids. It's about an hour and 30 minutes from Lansing. Um, and then for PGY4, uh, there's less inpatient rotation and more for selectives and electives. Um, and then you will do get more exposures to our patients. You can go on to the next slide, Dr. Andrew. Uh, so some of the highlights for our program, we are uh, pretty well established program. We've been around since the early 90s. Uh, we were duly accredited by both ACGME and AOA, uh, even before single accreditations. Of our residents, uh, members of the MSU Department of PMNR, uh, the residents are employed by Sparrow Hospital. So our payroll is from Sparrow Hospital, but our faculties and our residents are members of uh, Michigan State University PMR department. Again, it's a four year, uh, of, it's a categorical program. We take four residents per year. It's nice that you don't have to move. You know everybody in your program from day one. Um, you learn you know, the ropes around the hospital. We use Epic at the at Sparrow um, and you get to um, collaborate with the older services early on. Um, we are a comprehensive stroke center, so we get a lot of stroke patients. We're also a level one trauma center from Mi Michigan, uh, so we also get a lot of trauma cases. Um, and the nice thing, you get to work alongside with all the residency from all the specialties. So I'm Alex Dolbeck. I'm a PGY2 at the MSU Sparrow PMR program. I'll be talking about some more program highlights. So we have a lot of faculty guidance, mentorships, and hands-on learning. Our faculty are very involved in our learning. Um, on Tuesdays, the PGY2s have what we call Andary rounds. Dr. Andary is our program director, and he will do teaching rounds with us and usually a gaggle of medical students and uh, we go over things like physical exam skills and just general learning on the inpatient floor. Um, we have a very strong general inpatient exposure. We all feel very confident after our time here uh, covering an inpatient service. Um, one unique thing about our program is we do EMGs all three years um, as uh, inpatient and the outpatient setting as well. Um, we also get exposure to ultrasound guided injections, MSK and sports med. Um, and as I'll talk about later, we have some sports med fellows that we work closely with as residents. Um, our program is very resident driven. The faculty in our program takes our input seriously. And we have been able to make a lot of changes in our program from the resident perspective. Um, we also take home call for our program. It's about one week every month that you're on the inpatient service at Sparrow. So not all of our inpatient services, but just the ones at Sparrow. And then we also do um, weekends as well. Um, another highlight of our program is that we're affiliated with MSU. So we have all the MSU resources, including their library, which you can get a lot of books through the MSU library here. Um, we have very different locations, hospital systems and EMR. So you get a very wide breadth of um, experience while you're here as well. As he talked about earlier, you get mileage reimbursement when you travel to Flint and Grand Rapids. Um, you, we also work closely with our medical students and as a resident, it helps you learn how to teach and also provide um, education experience for medical students as well. So it gives you that early exposure to um, providing education. Uh, we also share our co-chief responsibilities in PGY four year. Um, so our, 
our chief responsibilities are spread out between all four PGY4s. Um, we have had moonlighting opportunities in the past um, at McLaren Orthopedic Hospital, but those may not be um, available in the future with the new hospital coming in. And as I was talking about before, we have several fellowship opportunities through MSU. Um, we have the OMT plus one program um, that we've had several of our um, members go through. Um, a very popular fellowship is our MSU Interventional Spine EMG and Sports. It's a two-year fellowship through MSU. And then we also have the MSU Interventional Spine MSK Fellowship, which is through Flint Pain. Hey, so uh, I'm Daniel Bashir. I'm one of the PGY3s in our program. Uh, I'll talk about our didactics a little bit. So every Monday we have formal didactics. They're uh, dedicated time for the residents to sit down, engage with one another and learn together. Uh, our attendings will cover our floor duties, our, uh, our, our phones for the floor and handle all the things that they want, that they forgot how to do as a resident. Um, it's nice being a categorical program when you're an intern here, uh, for all, but I believe four rotations, which are internal medicine, two months, ICU, one month and trauma surgery, uh, you'll be available and you'll get time away from your rotation to come and learn as well. Um, and it, and it's, and it's beneficial to get incorporated into the program early, uh, start learning anatomy early, for example, start learning, um, various topics that are going to show up under SAE kind of early, which we take as PGY2s through fours. Uh, and additionally, we have joint grand rounds for most of the year with our neurology department, which we work very closely with. That's on Friday mornings. So that kind of turns into a total of six hours of uh, dedicated didactic time during the week. Um, for those grand rounds, it varies week to week. We typically have uh, resident driven, fellow driven and attending driven lectures, either on interesting cases that we saw and we find to be educational or uh, research that some of the attendings or fellows are engaging in. And uh, we also have what we call muscle conference. Muscle conference is great for talking about the EMGs that might get ordered on mutual patients and kind of talking about what the waveforms are really saying, what the pathology really is. And it's a, it's a good way for our attendings to kind of poke fun at us sometimes too, when we, uh, when we try to know something that we don't. Right, Dr. Andary? <laughs> so um, also we have this intensive anatomy review course annually. It's geared towards the PGY2s. Uh, we like to think anatomy is destiny, kind of knowing what we're looking at and why. So it's about two and a half months, it's every Monday and Thursday, and we have one chief resident that leads this each year. Uh, and at the end of the course, we do a, a written test, um, and it, it kind of has topics related to, I guess, what you would find in clinics sometimes, or what you find on the floor. You'd see patients with XYZ presentation, uh, what do you think the lesion is? Um, also has some EDX pearls in there as well. And then also just the basic anatomy that you need to know to function as a physiatrist performing EDX. Uh, and then coming back to the didactics, co-chief um, residents kind of come together, come together to make the schedules, use their resources to bring in external lecturers, which has become pretty easy during the pandemic. It's not hard to convince someone to, uh, you know, across the country at Stanford or something to come in and, and talk to us. And if one of our attendings is giving a lecture elsewhere, we typically try to join in on those as well. Even if they have to go down to, to Ann Arbor or something, we'll just zoom in. We have about five minutes left. Okay, I'll try to speed this up a little bit. So we get one conference paid for during residency automatically just by being involved in the residency. It's typically in PGY4 and that's gonna be AAPMR. However, if you are accepted for poster presentation, you will be uh, given a stipend to go to that conference. Um, last year, uh, because of the pandemic, if you were accepted, you would 
get time away from your clinical duties and someone would cover for you so that you'd be able to answer questions for the poster wall or something. We have this international opportunity every other year where uh, we have a resident go to Zambia and work at their local hospital and clinics teaching EMG to the providers there. Uh, it's in conjunction with one of our neurology colleagues, Dr. Kowalson, who's there about nine months of the year. Um, and we also have a uh, during our PGY three year a PO course in Chicago that is paid for and it's uh, through the Northwestern system. So Hey everyone, my name is Ian Akers. I'm a PGY one uh, at MSU Sparrow. And Dr. Indira, I think there was a slide before this one. The only thing I want to say about the OMM, uh, osteopathic focus is that there's an OMM consult service and as you're rotating through your OMM year you actually get to go uh, participate in that and do OMM consults with the hospital which I think is pretty unique um, and there have been MD applicants who've been very happy with with this aspect of our program as well. Um, as far as research uh, there's a good amount of spine medicine and EMG research going on here um, as well, so because we're a comprehensive stroke center, there's a lot of patients who are interested in participating in uh, stroke uh, research studies. Um, and then also, there's a, there was an interesting study done by Dr. Parkhurst on uh, geriatric uh, patients as well. Some of the perks, uh, Amber will talk about the perks. Yeah, so you get a faculty position at MSU, which gives you access to additional resources like the library, online content, gyms, uh, cadaver lab. We get a food stipend at both of the main hospitals we work at. We have a $1,500 uh, educational stipend, which rolls over annually. So if you don't use it, you still get to keep it. You have the usual dental, vision, health, 401k matching up to 6%. Um, we have a concierge service, which is a really nice thing that if you need to get your oil changed, you need to mail a package or something, you can kind of drop off your keys or drop off the package and they'll take care of it, do all the labeling and things for you. Um, we have 20 days off of vacation plus the recognized holidays. And then we also get time off for educational and conferences. Uh, we are located in Lansing, Michigan, which is the capital right to smack dab in the middle of the state. Uh, Obviously, MSU is home to one of the Big Ten schools, so big college campus, lots of different sporting events, uh, the performance arts, really large international groups as well. Um, we're an hour from Detroit and Ann Arbor and Grand Rapids, so other cities to do lots of fun things in. Uh, we're four hours from Chicago. There's tons of restaurants, eateries, coffee shops, things like that, including the MSU Dairy Store, which is rec nationally no no recognized as uh, one of the best ice cream places. Uh, it's a really family friendly area. We have a lot of our residents are married and many of them have small children. Um, it's a great area to raise a family and uh, there's a really low cost of living. Hey guys, I'm Fred Carrington. I'm one of the co-chief residents at MSU. Um, so essentially the too long don't read um, from the program. We're a categorical program. We're kind of a mixed academic associate with MSU and then a community base because mid Michigan's kind of a small area. Um, very supportive work environment, uh, collegial with our attendings as well as uh, with Sparrow Hospital in general and then the affiliation with Michigan State University um, comprehensive EMG training. Dr. Andre was the previous president of the AANEM, the EMG Society, and we get training in EMG throughout our second through fourth year. Uh, we do have an osteopathic focus uh, throughout. We were AOA accredited. I think we're in that process again for this year. And Mary Freebet always ranks highly in the nation uh, for patient satisfaction each year. Um, as medical students, uh, we are through MSU College of Osteopathic Medicine on VLSO uh, or VSAS. Uh, we don't force the medical students to come back for an interview if it's outside of the interview uh, season, just because we know travel in a normal year is difficult for people. And so um, that kind of counts as your interview. We will contact you uh, when we do our rankings um, and once we finish all of our other interviews, just to make sure any questions or follow-ups don't go unanswered. Um, as for now, we'll be doing virtual interviews. We'll kind of go along with the national average. Dr. Andary's plugged in with all of the uh, conglomerate of program directors. So we'll follow the AAPM and our recommendations. Um, and then if there's any issue with uh, coming to visit, we're able to uh, host, we're unable to host some people due to the limitations on GME with COVID. 
but we still do Zoom didactics or have Zoom options available so people can attend. Um, we'll have our contact information after all of this. So if there's any sort of issues or you guys are interested, please uh, feel free to reach out. We're a friendly bunch and willing to help out in whatever way we can. I think that's all the time we have today. Thank you so much, Michigan State, yeah. for presenting. Um, if you don't mind dropping your contact information and then feel free to stay down in the chat so we have some extra time in case people want to ask questions regarding your program specifically. But again, wanted to thank all the representatives of Michigan State for coming out and spending some time with us tonight.